Chapter 5 Sequel to Halloween It was get, getting dark outside when my mom finally came pick up me up from school. So tell me about the after school program, she said as we got into the car. What do you do? Nothing, I asked. Anytime your mom asks what you did during the day, always say nothing. Even an uh, alien ship landed in the middle of the lunchroom that day. Just tell your mom nothing happened. Even a spaceship landing in the bunch of aliens, evil, important, got up the same hound dog. Just say nothing. That's the first rule being a kid. Did you and the uh, six moms make a lot of sandwiches today? I asked her. No, we don't have any customers yet, Mom told me. Our company just get to the ground. I told her that we'll be a... Hard to make sandwiches if her company fully around the air. We each set out my backpack out, and there was a sweet of potato inside telling the pairing about elementary school fruit drive. So my mom calls Ryan's, Michael's, and Neil, and a price for me. My friends go collecting food together. The next day was Saturday, and me and the guys up at Michael's house, our moms gave us pillowcases to hold the food and collect. Then we went door to door around the neighborhood asking for food. We are collecting food for hungry people. We said as the first house visit lady came out and can of gave us a can of potato sauce we are collecting food of hungry people said we said at the next house a man gave us a can of beans we went to the bunch of house and everybody was happy to give some food the pillowcases were starting to get heavy. We went to the next house. You'll never believe the middle hundred years. Who answered the door? Nobody. You can answer a door. Because doors don't talk. It, but you'll never believe who opened the door. It was Mr. Clutch. Ah, uh, he said. I see you boys are collecting food for the fruit drive. Good work. Here's a can of soup. Thanks, Mr. Clutch, we said. Remember, if you kids collect 3,000 pounds of food, I will jump the freight in the eighth suit and land on the roof of the school. I will be able to see the roof of the school from sky, Michael asked. There is a big red circle on the roof, Mr. Clutch told us. I should eat and land right in the undils there a lots of wind that day. Before we left, Mr. Clutch gave us a lot of cookies and we ate them and we walked down the street. You know, Ryan said as we ate our cookies, this is almost like a Halloween. We just knocked on the Mr. Clutch's door and he gave us trees. That's when I came up with the greatest idea in the history of the world. When Ryan knocked the next door and a lady opened it, a pill and we, I held out, out my pillowcases and yelled, Trick or treat! Isn't it Halloween in the old chapter? The lady asked. That was months ago. Didn't you? What to say? Didn't know what to do. I had to think fast. You know how really good movies have scrolls? I said, well, they did not that really good Halloween should have schools, too. Today is the school of Halloween. The school of Halloween, the lady said. Hmm, never heard of that. Oh, it was in the all the newspapers, I told her. But the boys aren't even worth carrying turns, she said. 
No cars are allowed on the. Oh, costumes aren't allowed in the schools to Halloween. I told her everybody knows that. Well, okay, the lady said. Let me see. I if I have a candy. She came back with a minute. Lady with the horish bars. Thanks, we are said. Happy Halloween. What a scam! As we walked down the street eating our horish bars, the guys all told me I was a genius. Came up with that score to Halloween. We stopped a few more houses, yelled trick or treat at each time, and told about the school Halloween. I got a candy bar and some M and M's and reader stuff and a belted cap. Man, mom, case was getting heavy. I got home. I was sick to my stomach. I thought I was gonna throw up. It was the greatest day of my life. Full drive is cool.